you all, but uh, well, first, I just want to welcome anybody here that's traveling for this uh, Labor Day weekend and safe travels if any of you are leaving today or doing something uh, tomorrow. I don't know about you, but my voice is a little weak from yesterday. Anybody go to that big game at Paulson Stadium yesterday? What's that? Shout out to 88 and 38 here with us today. Yeah, that third quarter was something else. And I'll tell you what, the last two years, you know, I was in the president's box watching, but this year I was a guest of Deacon Mike. And when we were right there, right on the field and chanting those chants, it is, it's something special and electrifying. Uh, great game yesterday, but don't worry, as I see members of the flight crew and Tormenta here, I'm saving my voice so I can say uh, vamos Tormenta and si se puede. But on this Labor Day weekend, I was recently driving on I-95 and whew, so much traffic. And I realized, you know, I think I understand why this is one of the busiest travel weekends. Because, you know, we work and sometimes we need a break from our work. But also we all worked in many different ways and for many different reasons. Most of you that are adults that work, you work for an employer or you work at a job site or at a desk and you get paid by your employer. And as adults working, many of you are striving to provide for your families, raising your children, or even perhaps caring for an elderly or a family member that has additional needs. And some of you work multiple jobs and have so many different varying responsibilities. And for children and teens and college students, Right now, school is your main responsibility, your main work. But there's a whole other work that we have as Christians, and that's the work of hearing the Word of God, then being nourished by the Eucharist, to be guided by the Holy Spirit, to put all these things into action, to be stewards of what has been given to us, and be disciples to go out, again, hearing the word, nourished by the Eucharist, and accompanied by the Holy Spirit. Because as it says in James so bluntly, be doers of the word, not hearers only, deluding yourselves. Or as I've said recently, remember, holiness is not a spectator sport. It's meant to be lived. For if we leave here today, and do nothing to put God's work into action or to show how, how much Jesus means in our lives for this coming week, in some sense, we might have failed. If we return here to Mass next week realizing that we haven't thought about our faith since today, then perhaps we have failed. You know, we sang together the responsorial psalm that the one who does justice will live in the presence of the Lord. Note that easily we could overlook that word singing does. So perhaps something we can reflect on St. Matthew is, are we actively doing justice within our family, school, workplace, community, the world? Are you able to find and take opportunities to see justice and to help socially and economically? For to hear the call for justice is good, but to take it to heart and to preach it with our lives is even better. And also, too, in the words of the Nike slogan, sometimes we're truly called to just do it. Now, earlier we heard in that first reading from Moses, and Moses boldly proclaims to his audience that if they observe God's commands carefully, then their new nation, Israel, will be seen by others as wise and intelligent. Why is that? He points to two characteristics that we can learn from. The first, that God is close, accompany them, ready to respond. And two, that the laws of the Lord are just. For setting the example at that time in the Old Testament, justice was paramount, demanding fairness and partiality and righteousness. So observance of the law was to bring about justice. However, over time, some in authority missed this connection and they rather focused on infractions, such as, uh-oh, I see somebody's eating with unclean hands. 
But recall the story of the Good Samaritan, whom the priest and the Levite passed by because they felt no need to help because they were more concerned about keeping their hands pure. When Jesus today in rebuking things like this, he's condemning the practice of trying to tie God's commands to human rituals rather than what are we doing to serve and continue to bring about justice in our world. So this Labor Day weekend, I just leave you with this question. Right now, do you see any injustice within your family, workplace, or community, or in the world? And given the gift specifically that you have been given, and together with our Lord, ask what can you do to help bring about justice to those who need it in each of these places? Because again, holiness is not a spectator sport. It's meant to be lived. May God continue to be with you and give you that patience and perseverance and continuing to build up his kingdom and to do his will. Amen.